I hope you miss me. But I hope you won't forget me. I hope you miss me. But I hope you won't forget me. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Cody. And I know you're probably like, I know darn well Cody is not stopping me at the beginning of a video once again. But no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just advertising my dad's restaurant, you know, because, you know, yeah, all that. Go check it out. Bruh, um, we're going to be working on a website soon, bruh. Link gonna be in the description. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put his Instagram in the description, bro. See how good his cooking is, bro. Like, yeah, for real. Y'all should really go check it out. And I'm sorry for stopping you in the beginning of this video. It's just that, for real. I think I have a picture in my phone somewhere. Let me go see if I do. Yep. Here's one of the pictures of his mas one of his masterpieces. He's made way more stuff. Like he makes chicken wings, fries. His fries are good. I'm telling you, bro. All that. So if y'all want to go check out my dad's restaurant, um, the link to his Instagram will be in the description down below. Um, it is only available in Memphis though. So if you don't live in Memphis, which I don't think any of my subscribers live in Memphis, um, still be sure to check out his Instagram page. Give him a little follow while you up while you up there. Like, look at this man, man. This looks so good, bro. So good. And I'm not even saying this because he's my dad. I'm just saying this stuff looks so good. For real, y'all. For real. Y'all should really go check out my dad's restaurant. Link in the description to it. I'm probably going to make a channel for him. But, like, link in the description to his Instagram. Be sure to, to hit him with the follow. <laughs> While you at it, go on ahead and follow my Instagram. You thought Y'all really thought I wasn't going to shout my own Instagram out. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. You need to stop. Oh my god, I can't I, I can't stop. I know y'all hungry. I know y'all hungry from seeing all these pictures. So why don't you go on ahead and send him get him a follow, alright? Like for real, bro. This is so good looking. Bruh. <laughs> Having a, a chef that I don't have to cook. That cooks like that. Imagine how my mom be cooking. But don't tell my mama. My dad's better at cooking. But uh, go check out his restaurant. Go check out his Instagram. I've said this so many times. Check out my Instagram right now. Right now. Go check out my vlog channel. Put in the description down below what you want me to do with that vlog channel. You want me to upload plushy videos. Because I'm thinking about a new one, Among Us. And y'all know the Among Us games coming out. Go check out my game channel. Go check out all my friends' channels. I'm. I hope I put all of them in the link in the description down below. If I don't, my neck's probably gonna get sliced off. But go on ahead, do it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and of course, I'll see y'all in the video. So, basically, <laughs> the only real reason why I'm making the what if right now. Really, because I need to advertise my dad, bro. I mean, y'all don't care about that. Y'all just want me to start the video. Mmm, yeah, yeah, y'all got caught. Y'all thought y'all was really slick. Y'all really thought y'all was slick, bro. Like, like y'all gonna get past me. We don't play them games. I'm not sure if it was Drake or Chris Brown, but as they said, I don't want to play no game. Oh, it was it was Chris Brown. I don't want to play no games, play no games. Mess around, give you my last name. We ain't playing none of that. And um, basically, y'all can y'all can get me paid, y'all know what you mean. But um uh, I thought since the special occasion, shout out my dad's um, restaurant, special occasion, kind of, a little bit, not not very much, special occasion, 
why not go on ahead and finish our special what if that really hit off, but not really going that that well because that's I spammed up ordered it. And you know that's kind of the worst decision decisions of my life. I feel like people only look press on videos because they, you know, never mind, never, never mind, never mind, mind. So I'm pretty sure last time we left off with Goku defeating Kefla and going on to fight Hit. Yeah. Yes, that's where we left. Now, before I get into this, what if I'm just I'm sorry to the people that love this what if I'm trying to get this one aside so we can focus on the one that people mainly wanted um, for a long time that I never really saw until now. What if Naruto had Pokemon and I want to base on that and maybe some other what ifs that I left off with that I've never continued, especially some really good ones that people really want me to continue. Maybe what if Deku had three swords, so, yeah. Maybe what if Deku was trained by Vegeta? But cheeks! Okay, okay. But that'll all come in due time. Give me time. Give me time to get back into my daily life. As I said in the beginning of this video, go check out my gaming channel. Because if you want to see daily uploads on a uh, daily, go check that out. Because, like, we, we stream there daily. I tr um I upload videos with memes in them. Roll clip. Exactly. You you already know that's fire. Okay. But without further ado, we will get into this not rule toe what if. Huh? You ain't no not your way, you boy. What 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 you talking about? So we left off where Goku unlocks Ultra Instinct to get hit against him. The thing said, You became like a real father to me. It's hit within kind of look with a cold thing, but like not as cold as it usually is. Just doing my job. I'm an assassin. And I was hired to take everyone here out, but not their lives. As Goku would, as Goku would then launch towards him, kind of like what he does in Fighters. He would then launch behind Hit, as he would then charge up a, a punch to towards Hit. Hit would hit a time skip. As Goku would break through that time skip, going behind Hit. That's my new technique. He would punch Hit away. As Goku would then start charging towards Hit with the Kamehameha. Come me. Is Goku would would then look at the fight? Okay, if he takes if he takes far range, he'll be able to be hit pretty easily. Due to hit only being able to punch people, so time skip may be troublesome though. But at least for normal people but goku has time skip so he's able to he's he's able to overpower him with his time skip if jiren can do it he can too if goku would continue running a hit hame hame if she would stop midway you really thought i was gonna get close as hit would hit a time skip as the blast was then launched if Goku would break through the time skip, hitting hit with, almost hitting hit with the blast, as hit would then dodge. And yes, I've taken, I've taken what y'all have said in the comments. That hit doesn't really fight all that much. He would have just one shot Frieza. As hit would then say, I just one shot everyone. I've never been used to fighting. Maybe there are some good people out in the universe. That maybe. That may be able to, for me to fight. Is Goku would say, fine. fine, I'm done with this. We're going for a fair, fair, we're going to a fair one hand, hand fight. As he would then launch, run at him. As they would both use time skip Molotov. As it would both start clashing. He would be surprised. 
this ultra instinct form with all of his hits he's dodging his attacks but hits also dodging his attacks but just barely as they will both jump back goku is in with getting get in a pose like he's about to punch the air so then start punching the air he would, would think about what would be happening in these scenarios he would then start moving around I can't see the air palms, but at least I can move them around so they don't hit me. Because he would then get hit by a, by a Goku. That was the point. He wanted to send, send me off track so that he was able to hit me. As, he, as Goku would then jump back in the air. As he would then punch it in the face. I'll use my strongest cop out. He would punch him away. Goku. Goku was in charge of the strongest Kamehameha he ever has in his life. Instant transmissioning behind hit. And if you thought this, I have something else for you. And he would blast hit with the Kamehameha. Hit would barely block, but he would still be getting sent flying. As Goku would instant transmission on hit, over hit, as he would punch hit down to the ground. Goku would then make a multi-form. As he was in charge of a multi-form, Kame, Kame, and the multi-form was in, hit within time, skip out the way barely. I knew you would do that. As Goku would then go through the Kamehameha's, uh, as he would then punch hit in the face, hit would grab Goku's hand. As Goku would try to time skip out. His hit would just continue, would hold his hand as hard as he can. As Goku then say, you told me to take advantages of what I have. As he would then start headbutting hit, as hit's head would then start going back and forward. As Goku would then grab hit's arm. We can't fly, remember? As he would then, they would then start falling towards the ground. A lot of times, I I like to forget the Goku has a time limit on Ultra Instinct. Now, genuinely, I think that that I it makes it more entertaining. But like, I it doesn't really matter if it's more entertaining. I feel like the thing that makes it more entertaining for y'all is how real it is to the storyline, and. That's what happened. As Goku would see his time limit running out, he would then power down to Super Saiyan Blue. Hit would then would then look confused as he would then remember he's still he's still just a mortal. He can't stay in that form for the rest of his life. As Goku would then breathe. As it would then start having a time skip battle. Both of them are badly damaged, especially since Goku's body is put in a world of hurt when he goes Ultra Instinct. But still, Goku would push through. As he would then charge up a gum gum! I'm joking. No, no. It's same One Piece. As he would then charge up a gum. Point his hands back. Hami. Hey, me. Ha me ha. She so would then like to come at him at home. Towards Hit's way. Hit would then time skip away from it. Remember, Goku doesn't have as much control due to him not being an ultra instinct. Just they would then charge at each other. As they would then do what's in the Dragon Ball Super intro, as Goku would then yell at Hit, being surprised. Now, Master, let's end this fight! As Goku would start putting, putting a little bit of his Super Saiyan Four into, his, into his power. Now it's time to go beyond. As he would then yell out, "Now!" As his hand would then start turning Ozaru in a way. Now, Super Saiyan Four Blue. He was he would then start jumping at hit. As Hit would then get in his time skip poses, he would start jumping towards Goku. As they would both blast their hands towards each other, as they would both punch each other in the face. As Goku would get sent flying towards 
enter towards the ring as he would then get sent flying out of the ring. As Goku is then lay, lay there, his hit would then two. Hits one, fainted, and he's out of the ring, which leads to victory to Goku. As Goku would then put his hand in the air. Everyone, especially even Jiren, being surprised at the power that Goku possesses. And, yeah, they can't really forget hit all that much. So, yeah, and the tournament continued. I'm not sure if I went over this, but I think, yeah, he would fight. This man would fight, um, one of the wolves are danger. Yes, their universe would still be in due to Goku and Vegeta not teaming up and destroying them with a Super Saiyan Blue Galaxy Kamehameha. I mean, final Kamehameha. But. As Vegeta would then see one of them, so you're the last one in here. As he would then say, Kakarot's is not beating me. As he would then start running towards him. As the dude would then start looking, he said, Hold up, man! Hold up! Hold up! As, as Vegeta would then start saying, as one of the danger trio would then get sent flying towards up towards the ring. As as Vegeta was in charge of the Gallic gun. Gallic God launching it up towards the sky. As the duel would then get sent flying out the ring. Vegeta would then say, You're not done yet. As the dude would be blocking, as Vegeta would then punch him in the face, sending him flying out the ring. Whatever. Now I'm just going over some fights that would happen during this. Um, I'm, that I think I haven't gone across. And it would be your boy Piccolo and Gohan versus the Mechians. Actually, I think I went over this. Ross would be taken out by Broly. Now Goku, he would. Apparently, Goku, what he would do now is what he would do is now is what he... Yeah, I'm doing this on purpose. I'm not doing this on accident. All right. I'm, okay. Yeah, it, it was a joke I put on this. It's just a joke that I put on my script. Because I put, like... And then he was now, like, five times. Because I didn't know what I was going to do. But as Goku would be recovered by... um. A little bit of Piccolo's energy is Goku. Uh, Piccolo would tell Goku that they were they're gonna need him. Now I feel like Piccolo would spare more energy than Frieza due to Frieza just not being such a good guy in that scenario. I feel like just because Piccolo is more loyal to Goku now, like he's kind of a Zoro to Goku. Like you know how Luffy has Zoro and then. Naruto has Kakashi or Sakura, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, Zoro. And then Natsu has um Happy. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of like a Zoro. Loyalty. Yes, is the best royalty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My Yubato loyalty is the best royalty. Sorry. As Goku is in would then start walking towards Jiren with his entire universe. Yes, that big dude would be defeated still by 17. At least I think the big dude on the team. I'm not sure. As Goku would then stand there. As he would then make eye contact with Topo, Jiren, and Dispo. Dispo and Topo would get into pose, ready to fight Goku. As Jiren would start walking between them, I'll handle him. As Goku would then start jumping, as he would then start focusing, times get more tough. As he would then start punching Jiren in the stomach multiple times. As Jiren would then be surprised. I've never felt so much power in my life. Or oh, she's been super strong. Not even the god of destructiveness has surpassed me. 
as Goku as Jiren would then catch Goku's hand. Maybe you're you're just a pushover like the rest. As Goku would then get angry. Who you calling a pushover? That's what I'm talking about. As Goku would then start hitting Jiren with multiple punches to the face, which would not really affect Jiren all that much, but it would at least do a little bit of um, damage. As he would, as Goku would then, as Jiren would be, then be surprised. I actually had to move out of the way of his punches. As Jiren would kind of feel like he's going to have fun with this fight. Not like this say an intent type of fun, but like at least a little bit. Phew, my bad. As Goku would then start beating on Jiren. Is this not good enough for you? As he would then launch into God. Charging against him as he would then send him flying with God. Transforming into Super Saiyan Blue. Now, guys, I'm going to be ending this right here. Be sure to slap that like button. Don't you? Get... Oh, 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 y'all don't see that. Y'all don't hear that. Sorry, I'm about to watch some Dragon Ball sleep. <laughs> but, um, this is, uh, what if you will be seeing soon. You will also be seeing a Resident Evil video. Yeah, so. I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Remember, stay loyal to yourself. Stay, stay royal. Subscribe. Hit that like button. Do all the, do all the junts. All right? Do do it. All right, man. All right. Well, I'll see you guys. Whatever video I upload after this. I'm not sure what day. It's probably going to be today, though, because, you know, I'm bringing a um, Resident Evil, Evil video, and I'm telling you it will be longer than the Kodahama one. Yeah. Treat my kind. <laughs> And the final act Trap into the bloody bottoms is underneath Cause all my niggas got it out the streets I keep a hundred racks inside my jeans I remember hitting them all with the whole team Now a nigga can't that's a call cause I'm balling I was waking up getting racks in the morning I was broke, now I'm rich, these niggas salty